Welcome to the Itchy Techie channel. We shall have a walkthrough of the all new Microsoft Store. You can see the store icon on the start menu, or you can search store in Windows Search. The store icon is much colorful and dark than the previous one. And this is the all new store app interface. You can see the huge slider for featured apps. The apps are categorized and well organized, and looks much simpler. You can see apps are categorized into favorite apps and games, most popular, top free apps, top free games, collections, likewise. You can see a panel on the left side of the store window. It includes shortcut icons for home, apps, games, entertainment, library, and health. In the apps panel, you can view available apps. You can click on the app and see details of it. It includes screenshots, descriptions, ratings, and reviews, and an install button. You can view how good is the app using ratings and reviews before installing. You can use the back arrow shown in the title bar to go back to the previous window. You can see the app collections at the bottom of the window. Collections groups similar apps, for example file management apps, weather apps, Windows themes, apps for work, etc. The games window show you all the games available. Entertainment window show you apps related to entertainment. I think more options like movies, TV series, etc. will be available in the future. The library shows the apps, games, movies and TV you are owned. At the top of the window, you can see the Get Updates button. You can use it to check for additional updates and download them. You can see the list of apps you owned and you can use install or open buttons on the right side to use them. Also, you can share these apps with your devices and or pin to the taskbar. There is a filter option to ease managing your apps. Help icon allows you to get the windows to help related to the Microsoft Store. Also, you can use the Send Feedback option to send your feedback to the Windows Insider program. On the title bar, on the top right-hand side, you can see an icon to log into your Microsoft account or log out. The Manage Account and Devices option will take you to your online Microsoft account and you can manage your Microsoft account and connected devices from there. Payment methods will allow you to set up your credit cards, PayPal accounts to connect with Microsoft Store. Manage your payments window shows you your account balance, notifications, and payment methods if you have already added one. You can add all the major credit cards, debit cards here.
Also, available options differ from country to country. For the USA you can use credit cards, debit cards, mobile billing using Verizon, and PayPal options for purchases. For India, it is only available credit cards or debit cards option. You can easily add your card's details and save and you can easily purchase apps afterward. You need to save your credit card details before making a purchase. After adding the purchase method it will show up in the payment method area. Redeem code or gift card option allows you to enter your gift cards and redeem codes for discounts for your purchases. The app settings option shows few settings related to your store apps. App updates allow update apps automatically. Purchase sign in allows you to purchase from Microsoft Store without entering your password. This is not secure since anyone who has access to your device can purchase without your knowledge. Offline permissions will make your PC the one used to run games or apps that have limited licenses, even the PC offline. Video autoplay allows play videos automatically. This will cost you internet data. Let's install an app. I highly recommend you check ratings and reviews before installing an app. The price will be shown with the name of the app. Then it will ask you for the payment method to continue the installation.
Also, you can find offers and discounts easily. You can download an app using the free button if it is free or using the button with the price. You can pause or resume the download using the same button. The button will show you pause or resume icons as per your selection. And it will show you paused at 65 kilobytes for this download. You can have an idea about the app using its screenshots. The download time depends on your internet speed. After installation the button text change to play. Also, you can see a link to the app that has been added to the start menu. Shall we play the game now? Nah, maybe later. The library option in the store shows the partially downloaded app in the download queue. You can resume the download from here. Or you can cancel the download using triple dots in front of the app name. And that's all for the Microsoft Store. The most exciting feature of the Microsoft Store, the Android app support is yet to be available. You can expect Android app support in the next Windows 11 releases. With Android app support you can run Android apps from your PC directly. These apps will be listed in the Microsoft Store, and then you will be linked to Amazon App Store for download since Microsoft does not have its own Android App Store. Thank you.